Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? How are you tonight on this Tuesday? Good, and you? I'm very good. Thank you for asking. Welcome. Welcome to the class. We have Oswaldo. Maybe welcome. Camila, welcome to your class. We have Hello, uh, teacher. You. Hello. welcome. We Thank have you. Eloida, Karina, Genesis, well, Rebecca, welcome. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening, hey. welcome. Ana Xiomara, Karen Xiomara, Kathy Esther, Jonathan, Álvaro, Álvaro Canales. We also have Carolina. Carolina Beltrán, Jaime, who else we have? Yes, everybody, welcome, guys. Okay, yesterday we worked with the ordinal numbers. We also saw like the form of be going to, to express the future. And we also saw some examples in affirmative. We saw the negatives and you gave more examples according to the pictures. Now, we're going to continue with some questions, but these questions are yes, no questions. So, investigate if certain information is affirmative or negative. Let's see, we're going to read them. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Or negative, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Let's see a question about third person. Kathy, Kathy Esther, can you continue, please? Can you read it? Yeah. Is Kayla? Uh, see, is Kayla going to have a party for you? Thank you. Very good. Jonathan. Jonathan Adonai. Affirmative answer. Uh, yes, she is. She is going to in, in, invite. Se diría eso? Invite. invite. Okay. Um, yes, she is. She is going to invite all my, my friends. 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 Very good, Joe. That's nice. Thanks. Alvaro. Alvaro Canales. Negative. Negative answer. No. She is. She isn't. She is going to take me cheese. out for cheese. She's going, going to? to take me out for dinner. Dinner, that's good. Take me out. Take me out. Take me out. For dinner. For dinner. Thank you so much. Very good. Clara, you did. Hi, Clara. Hi. Let's continue with the next one, please. Are the waiters... Are the, are the waiters going to sing to you? Thank you, that's nice. Lázaro Alberto, continue, affirmative. Lázaro? Yes. Hi, teacher. Okay. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Let's read the affirmative, please. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, they are going to sing. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's cool. Thank you. Karina Canales. Negative, please. No, they aren't, but they are going to give me a cake. A cake. Very good job. That's nice. Okay. Now, here they are. Yes, no questions. Investigate affirmative or the negative form. Any question about this? No question. No? Okay. Let's go ahead then with the conversation, which I'm going to read, and then you're going to practice together. This conversation is about happy birthday, and we have two characters, Angie and Philip. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th. Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. 
It's so embarrassing. Do you remember what is embarrassing? Penoso. Penoso. Vergonzoso. Penoso. Uh -huh. The two fours. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Do you have new vocabulary here? Uh, waited. Waiter? This ones? Yes. The waiters are like these persons that they are always in a restaurant and they take the food and give it to you uh, to the table. They serve the food. Okay. Yes. Los meseros. These ones here are the waiters. It's like in Pollo Campero, right? When a person is celebrating the birthday, you tell them, okay, you know, he is the birthday guy. Oh, she is the birthday guy. And they sing the happy birthday to you. In the now, pizza. Or in Pizza Hut also. They do that. It's true. They have that custom to do it. Now let's practice it. And let's see. We're going to start with Clara. Your are Angie. Are you going to... Are you going to do anything exciting this exciting. weekend? Exciting. Exciting. Exciting this weekend. Very good. Thank you. Navi, continue. You're Philip. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Celebrate my birthday. My birthday. Nice. Thank you. Let's see. Celebrate. 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 And then you say, my birthday. Continue. Lazaro, please. Fabulous. 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 Went... Fabulous. 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 Where is your birthday? Exactly. 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 That's nice. Good one. Okay, Karina, continue, please. It's it's August 9th, Sunday. Sunday. Very good. Alvaro? So? Alvaro? Hello? Problems with connection? Oswaldo? So? so what are the plans? Very good. Thank you. Camila? Well, 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 my friend Kayla is going. Kayla, ah, Good. Uh -huh. thank you. Kayla, Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Dinner, dinner. Thank you. Genesis, continue. Nice. Nice. Is she going to order order a cake? Very good. Ana Xiomara. Ana Xiomara. Hi, teacher. Hi, girl. Mm -hmm. Continue no, with si this one, please. Yeah. Perdón? Yeah. Yeah. And then. Wakers. 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 Are probably 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 going to sing happy birthday birthday yeah. happy birthday birthday bird birthday birthday to me to me it's so um, embarrassing 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 that's nice good one thank you that's good that okay is. really nice let's go ahead then with some other examples these ones are with the same yes no question and answers with the be going to we have some other questions here let's see wendy can you read the number one please read the first one 
Are you going to to go swimming? To go swimming? To go swimming? To go swimming. 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 Good. This Saturday. Yes. Yes, I am going. I am. Yes, I am going. I am going to go and swimming. 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 Swimming this Saturday with my brother. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Let's see, Nedvia. Continue with the next one. Are you? Are you going to study? Study. 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 Abroad. 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 Pardon. Yes, I am. I am a, a excited. 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 Very good. That's correct. Good one. Rebecca. The next one, please. Is your crush? Is your crush going to tell you? To call you? Call you? Yes. He, she is going to call me. Call, call me. me. Call me later. Later. That's all right. Good one. Thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, remember that it's possible that it's he or she, right? Because a crush can be a boy or can be a girl. So that's why existed two possibilities. Let's move on to the next one. Denise? Denise, are you here? Yes. Hello, Denise. Are, you, uh -huh. Hello. are your parents? Are your parents going to tra travel uh -huh. next year? No, they aren't. They aren't. Thank you. If you observe here, this one is a short answer, and this one is okay. Rodrigo. Okay. Hello, Rodrigo. Continue here. Are you going? The second one. Yeah, please. Are you going to? Are you, are you going to go to the gym tonight? I'm not. I'm going to work. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to work. All right. That's good. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Very good job. Thank you. Elmer. Elmer Giovanni. Yes. Hello, Elmer. Okay, read this one, please. Are you and your friend? Are you and your friends going to play soccer tomorrow? Mm -hmm. No, we're going to go to video game arcade. Video game arcade. Very good. Thank you. Video okay. game arcade. arcade. Okay, thank you. Arcade. Thank you. Look, do you have here new vocabulary or some questions about this? So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. Now, let's check. Just hear a phrase that it says video game arcade. This one refers to this. It's like when you go to play video games, like machines. If you go to a mall, uh, for example, in Metro Centro, they have an area where they have video game arcades. So you can go to play different video games. Como las, como las estaciones, estaciones uh -huh. de juegos. Exactly, uh -huh. that's a video game arcade. Here we say las maquinitas, right? But they are areas. Like at the video game stations, that's the same one. Let's go ahead with this speaking activity. We're going to practice this one. And it says, is your partner going to do the things in part A this weekend? As an answer questions. We have the questions and the answer. Carla, can you read part A, please? Are you? Are you? Carla Sarai. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, good night, Jadis. Good evening. Uh, Welcome, Carla. Are, uh, you? are you going to go dancing? To go? To go? Thing to go dancing this weekend. This weekend, very good. Thank you. Continue, Jadmi. Thank you, Jadmi. Yes, I am. I, yes, um, I am. Aha, uh -huh, good. I'm going. I'm going to go to a new dance club. Club downtown. dance club. Club dance club downtown. Downtown, that's good. In the center of the city, downtown. That's correct, thank you. Karen Xiomara, the next one, please. Are you? 
Are you going to go with a friend? With a friend. A friend. That's good. And this one is a question, right? Thanks. Are you going to go with the friends? So you could answer, yes, I am going to go with my friend Sarah, for example, right? Now, let's ask more questions. Rebecca, Vanessa, we have the first question. Rebecca, are you going to go to the doctor tomorrow? No, I'm not going to the doctor tomorrow mm -hmm. no i'm not going to go no i going i'm not going to go to, to the, the doctor, doctor tomorrow tomorrow very good thank you that's nice let's continue then maria jose are you present maria jose maria jose no yes yes, yes. hello Tell me, Maria Jose, are you going to travel on Christmas? No. No, I am not. No, I am not. Hello? Uh -huh. The question is, are you going to travel on Christmas? No, I am, I am, I am not crazy. No, I am not. Thank no. you, Christmas. Uh -huh. It's negative, right? No, I am not going to travel on Christmas. So that's the negative. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's the negative form. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail, are you going to play soccer on Sunday? Gabriela Abigail? Carla Elizabeth? Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm uh, not. I'm not. No, I'm not. Huh. Play soccer. Future? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to uh, okay. play soccer. Uh -huh. This Sunday. That's correct. Thank you. Brenda, Rachel. Brenda, are you present? Yes, miss. Yes. Okay. The next question. Are you going to make a project this weekend? Are you going to make a project this weekend? Repeat, miss, please. Yes. Are you going to make a project this weekend? Make a project. Hacer un proyecto. Make a project. No, I'm not no, going I'm to make. Not, I'm not, right? No, I'm not. I'm going to, to make a project. This weekend. Squid. That's all right. Good one. Okay. Then we have some questions. Now, let's check in this part. This is about listening evening plans. It says that it's 5.30 p.m. What are these people's evening plans? Write your guesses in the charts. In the part B, we are going to listen to the interviewer ask these people about their plans. What are they really going to do? Complete the charts. So here we have two parts. Your guess. Your guess is what you suppose depending on how you see the picture here. <clears throat> but then the other part is what they are really going to do. What are the plans, the activities that they are going to perform? For example, in your guess about Michelle, look at how she's wearing. Michelle is going to go to the gym. That is what we suppose, but maybe it's true or not. Let's see about Kevin. What do you think about Kevin? What is Kevin going to do? He's going to go listen to music. Listen to music. Okay, he's going to listen to music. All right, it could be nice. Okay, let's write it down.
he's going to listen to music. That's what we suppose. What about Robert? What is Robert going to do? What do you think? He's going to, he's going to the work. Okay, he's going to work. To work. Let's see about Jane. What is Jane going to do? She going. She's. She's going to the shopping. No. She's going to. She going to, to concert the rock. Uh, to go to a store. To the to music store. The rock. To a concert. I'm sorry. What did you say? She's going to. She's, she's going, going to shopping. Okay, she's going to go shopping. So suppositions can be different, right? That is a, uh, according to the appearance that the person has. That is an opinion that we can have. But now let's check if they are true or not. We need to listen to it. We are going to listen to the first one because the rest are uh, in the platform. So let's check on the other one. All right. In this part is that we're going to listen. So let's pay attention if it is true what we suppose. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. Okay. The rest are in the platform, right? The ones that you need to listen to. So let's check. So what's they really going to do? What is Michelle going to do according to the audio and the interview? She's meeting a friend. Ah, she's meet going to friend. meet a friend, right? That's correct. She's going to meet a friend. That's right. She's going to meet a friend. And then they say that they are going to run. For that reason is that she is with that kind of clothes. Nice. So the rest, you are going to complete the platform. Let's move to our next part. This one is about a video. In the one, we're going to use about the pronunciation. Reduction of going to. There is a manner to use it shorter, but it's informal way, but we're going to watch it. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's 
analyze the examples one more time. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation, pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. Okay, so this one was referring about some reduction with the be going to, but always you're going to mention the simple future. So let's check here some questions. Are you going to have a party? So some people mention this going to like gonna. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend or in an informal manner, you can say gonna. No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant or are you going to go out to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe or informal manner will be, yes, we're going to go out to Nick's Cafe. So this is, is informal, but let's say other examples. Going to is the correct manner to speak it. Now, this one is very popular, but incorrect in the grammar form. So you say gonna. Example, in, an, in a very formal way will be, I am going to drive to the Christmas party tomorrow. Informal, I am going to drive to the Christmas party tomorrow. Miss, Let's check this. Tell me. En el caso de, de, de gonna... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sería de una forma informal, pero que significa lo mismo. Ah, exactly. Uh -huh. It's mm -hmm. the same. It's the same context, the same meaning, but it's very informal. It's what they call the street language. Mm -hmm. This Thank one you, sounds, you're very welcome. It's like when you say, eh, like in Spanish here, it's an informal manner. You say, eh, voy a ir a la playa. That's very formal. But how do we normally speak here in El Salvador? Voy para la playa. Voy Exactly. Yo huir. Or yo huir. Voy ir. Incorrect. Voy a. Ajá. Correct. Ajá. Entonces, es informalidad del idioma, pero que nosotros ya nos acostumbramos. Y pues nos adaptamos a eso y, lo, y por eso lo entendemos. Así se escucha el gona en inglés. Es como el huir. Is not formal. What happened is that here it depends on the area. Aquí tenemos que como ver dónde es eh, el lugar correcto donde utilizarlo, donde no. Porque, por ejemplo, eh, si vamos a una entrevista de trabajo, no es correcto utilizar gona. Ahora con los amigos, sí, porque es un ambiente eh, informal el que tenemos. Pero si es algo formal, O también cuando escribimos algo, ¿no? Un documento. No es recomendable utilizar el gona. But it's the Entonces, same meaning. gramaticalmente no it's es not, correcto. Más sí se puede utilizar de forma informal. In, a, in an informal way, yes. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, use, they have a lot of forms to say, like, a street language, what they call it. But this is the formal. Going to... Basically, you substitute going to and you use gonna. The verb is always the same manner. It doesn't change. Also, the form of the subject and the verb to be. You can make a contraction or make it complete, like I am going to, I am gonna, or contraction, I'm gonna. I'm gonna travel to Colombia next month. 
I'm going to travel to Colombia next month. But the formal manner is going to. Let's continue then reading these ones. Jonathan, can you read the first one, please? I'm going to travel. Um, I'm going to travel to Colombia next month. Thank you. Jaime, continue. I'm gonna. I'm gonna travel to Colombia next month. Very good. Thank you, Maria Jose. Joshua. Maria Jose, are you present? Yes. That, uh, okay. Joshua. Joshua is going to isn't, work. Isn't going. Going to work. Full time. Full time. Full time. Full time. Thank you, Carla Elizabeth. Joshua. Joshua is not gonna work full time. That's right. Thank you. Let's continue. Alvaro, please. And the question, okay. are you going to? Are you gonna to? Going to? Are you going to? Are you um, gonna? Uh, read first, like uh, the formal manner. Going to? Okay. Are you going to? Are meet? you going to? Meet with your relative in Relatives? Colombia. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Thank you, Rodrigo. If you notice here, yes, I am is a short answer and is correct. So now let's check the complete manner. Rodrigo, please. Okay. Yes. Yes, I'm going to meet with my relatives in Colombia. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. Let's see, Denise. The next question. Now, this is an informal way of question. Are you? Are you gonna meet with your relatives in Colombia? Very good, thank you. Let's see, Jadmi, can you continue with the next one, please? Yes, I am gonna. I, excuse, yes, I am. Done. I'm gonna, contraction, am. Yes, I am gonna. Um, um, contraction. Um, I'm gonna meet with my relative in Colombia. In Colombia, that's correct. Good one. So here we're saying formal and informal manage to express the future form. Do you have questions about this? Yes. Yes. En el caso de Joshua, it's not gonna. O sea, él no va. Así sería corta. That is. Uh -huh. Correct. Yeah, Una what happened is corta. that, no, this one will be like this. If you say Joshua is not going to work full time, this will be, it's just a complete answer in negative. But what happened is that this one is contraction. You could say Joshua isn't going to work full time. Siempre completa. Ajá, uh -huh. always complete, just that this is contraction isn't and here is complete is not separated and contraction form thank you miss you're very welcome we are going to pass the list guys let me know if you are present please All right, let's begin. Álvaro Mauricio. Thank you, Álvaro. Ana Xiomara. I'm here, miss. Thank you. Brenda Rachel. Present, miss. Thank you, Brenda. Camila Alessandra. Camila. Yes, thank you, Camila. Carolina Elizabeth. I'm here. Thank you, Carolina. Clara, you did? Present. Thank you. Denise, Rosalia? Present, Miss. Thank you, Denise. Edgardo Ernesto? I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Edgardo. Elmer Giovanni? Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Elsie del Carmen? Elsie del Carmen? 
Gabriel Abigail? Oh, yes, Gabriela told me she's listening. Genesis Abigail? Uh -huh, she's listening. Thank you. Genesis Abigail? I remember Genesis. I saw you. Jaime Alfredo? I'm here. Thank you, Jaime. Jonathan Adonai? Present teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. Jose Oswaldo? I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Karen Xiomara? I'm here. Thank you. Karina Jamilet? Present. Thank you, Karina. Carla Elizabeth? Present, Miss. Thank you very much. Carla Saray? Present, teacher. Thank you. Kathy Esther? Present, teacher. Thank you. Lázaro Alberto? Lázaro I'm Alberto? Here. Thank you, Lázaro. Ledvia Eloida? Ledvia Eloida? Present, Thank you so much, Maria Jose. Welcome. Present. Thank you. Nevi? I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Oswaldo Stanley? Oswaldo Stanley? Rebecca Vanessa? Present, Miss. Thank you, Rebecca. Rodrigo Alexis. I'm here. Thank you so much. Susana del Carmen. Susana del Carmen. Wendy Graciela. I am here. Thank you, Wendy. And Jedmi Wendylet. Present teacher. Thank you so much. All right, let's move to the next case then. Do you have questions about the use of gonna? So far, so good. So far, okay. so good about this? All right. Yeah. Okay, just remember that this is informal, right? Not correct in the grammar part. Now, let's go ahead to remember some holidays to share some holidays here, basically in the United States, in the first case. We know that we have, for example, let me hear to verify this. Okay. We have holidays in the US. For example, we have New Year's Day, which is on January 1st, Valentine's Day, on February 14th, Independence Day, July 4th, Halloween, on October 31st, Thanksgiving, or Thursday in November. Yeah, this one is not a specific day, right? Because they celebrate, they count for Thursday. So the fourth one, that's going to be celebrated, Thanksgiving. And Christmas, that is in December 25th. So the majority here, we celebrate in El Salvador too. But let's check first the video that we have. This is about vocabulary and holidays in the U.S. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the U.S. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. 
Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Right. So let's check here. We had there about holidays in the U.S., but what about in our country? We also have here, right, that New Year's Day, we celebrated the same day on January 1st. Valentine's Day on February 14th. Independence Day. When do we celebrate Independence Day? In our country. September. Uh -huh. Tell me. September. September. On September 15th, 15th right? 15th. All right, that's good. So are there any plans that you have for that day? You didn't, but you can also have it for next day, right? For next year also celebration, probably we have it. What about Halloween, October 31st? Do you have some plans? Edgardo, do you have some plans? What are you going to do on Halloween? Uh... Uh, on on Halloween, I think I'm going to uh, go out with some friends. Mm -hmm. That's good. Nice. Thank you. What about you, Carla? What are you going to do on Halloween? Do you have any plans? Sarai? Carla Sarai, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, repetition, please. Sure. 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 What are you going to do on Halloween? It's a um, 16, 16 um, October. Uh -huh. So we celebrate it on October 31st. October 31st. But do you have some plans? What are you going to do? Are you going to go out with your friends? Are you going to go to a party? Uh, do I, I, am going, I, I am going, going, going uh, I am going to go out with my friends. Voy a salir, right? I am going to go out with my friends. Repeat it, please. I am going. I, I am going. I am going to go out. To, to go, uh -huh. to go out, well, like Sally, right? Out. To go out with my friends, like this. So that is like the plan, the plan that you have on Halloween. Nice one, thank you, uh, Oswaldo. What about Me? you? Hello. Me. Tengo una pregunta. Yes. Sí, yo digo, I, I. Ponan no celebration, o sea, queriendo decir, yo no lo celebro en una forma informal, ¿cómo lo diría? Ah, if you say like that, for example, if it's simple present, you say, I don't. This one is not informal because you use normal simple present. Si es que eh, nunca lo celebra, entonces puede ser, I never celebrate it, or I don't celebrate it. I don't celebrate, no lo celebro. I don't celebrate Halloween. Halloween. So you have this one that you never celebrate it. Like this. I don't celebrate Halloween. But if you want to mention future, like no celebraré, entonces si lo puedo utilizar de manera informal, utilizando el gonna. Mm, no, uh -huh. no celebraré. Ajá, o no voy a celebrar. Pero es futuro. I'm not gonna celebrate Halloween. Porque simple present no hay como una manera informal de decirlo. So let's, I don't celebrate. I don't celebrate Halloween. I don't celebrate uh, January 1st. I don't celebrate February 14th. <clears throat> That's simple present. But the future is I'm not gonna. Informal. But formal manner. I'm not going to celebrate Halloween. 
Thank you, Miss. You're very welcome, my pleasure. So let's continue with the next holiday. In the next one, it's very important in our country too, a part of Independence Day, because it's about our delicious pupusas. So as we know, we have the National Pupusa Day. That, and this one is celebrated on the second Sunday in November. The same case as Thanksgiving in the United States, they celebrate it on the fourth Thursday. So they don't have a specific date, but they count fourth Thursday. Same here in El Salvador. Count the second Sunday in November, we celebrate the National Pupusa Day. But in this specific year, we are going to celebrate it on November 12th. Do you have some plans for this day? Alvaro? What are you going to do on the National Pupusa Day? National Pupusa Day in November. I'm sorry? Yeah. I'm going to? What are you going to do? Let's suppose that you have a plan for the National Pupusa Day. Are you going to go to Olocuilta? Are you going I, to make I'm pupusas? I'm going to go to Planes, Planes de Renderos. Ah, I'm going to go to Planes de Renderos. Planes de Renderos. That's correct. Yes, those in Planes de Renderos, they're so delicious pupusas. That is true. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> we are hungry now. <laughs> what about Christmas? I, 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 I'm starving now. Yeah, you're starving. So hungry. And it's very late right now to eat. Teacher, <laughs> teacher, I, I don't have I, I don't have any plans for for uh -huh. for this day because for me every day is National Bupusa Day. <laughs> yes. As we know that Salvadores, every day we eat pupusas, right? And in the three meals, can be in the morning, <laughs> can be for lunch, it can be for dinner. That's there is no true. exception, right? We don't have a limit. I can, I, I can eat uh, I can eat pupusas uh, every time, every day of my life. Wow, so you're a real <laughs> Salvadorian. <laughs> <laughs> Very patriotic that you are. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, that's good. Thank you for sharing. Let's see. Ana Siopara, do you have some plans for Christmas? Christmas is coming soon. Tell us a little bit about your plans. No sé cómo contestarle, Miss. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. I going to. Um, um. Or you can say I am. I am. I am. It tiene que sin abreviatura. No, the two forms is correct. You can say complete I am or contraction. This is contraction. Um. Um. Uh -huh. I'm going, going to. Going. To, go, I'm going to. I'm going to cover. Mm, no sé cómo se dice pupusa. Eat. Eat. Maybe eat or make. ¿Las va a comer o las va a hacer? You're going to make the pupusas or only eat? Eat. Eat. For eat. Christmas? Mm, pupusas de queso. Cheese pupusas. Por, por. Ajá. Cheese pupusas. Por, por cheese, si no me equivoco, en queso. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. They are cheese pupusas, de queso. Pupusas de queso, cheese pupusas. But that is on the National Pupusa Day or on Christmas? On Christmas? En mm, Christmas. On Christmas, on Christmas. Mm, no. No? Oh, yes. Probably, right? Every family has different <laughs> customs. They have different traditions. Se ponen huelga y no cocina. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah, you say, no, I'm not <laughs> going to. Que coman pupusa. 
Yo need to pusas. I don't have time. I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> and Christmas pupusas, yes. You can buy pupusas. Go. Yes. Nice. Okay. So there we have about yes, no questions. You give examples of affirmatives, also negatives, or special holidays. Now, we have here the form of WH questions. In this ones, remember that we investigate a specific information. In that, the formula is a little bit different because you need to include WH words plus the verb be plus subject plus going to plus the verb in the base form plus the complement. For example, what are you going to do this Saturday? I'm going to rest at home. So observe here that we don't answer yes or no, right? It's not affirmative or negative. It's a specific information. In the next one, we are going to read it. Let's see. Elmer, can you please read the second one, please? Where? Where are you, sibling, going to eat lunch eat. today? To eat, eat lunch? lunch today. Nice. Uh -huh. Thank you. Very good. That will be the question. Wendy Graciela, read the answer, please. There. Wendy Graciela, are you there? No? Clara, you did? They're going to eat lunch at Los Cebollines today. Today? That's their, today. That's their favorite restaurant thank you that's good observe here that you're using informal manner but the formal way will be they're going to eat right all it depends how is the conversation with friends family it can be informal let's see the next one maybe continue please who's who's going to celebrate christmas abroad thank you answer rebecca My neighbor is going to celebrate Christmas in Guatemala. Very good job. Observe here that you investigate the person, the person that is going to do the action. For that reason, you don't have the person or the subject in the question. You investigate that. Now, in the answer, you need to have because that is what you need to know. My neighbor. Abroad, remember that is in a different country. Not here in El Salvador, probably in Guatemala, Honduras, Panama, other countries. The next question that we have. Let's see. Um, Rodrigo, please. Okay. How? How's, he going, how's he going to get to Guatemala? Thank you. Let's see the answer. Denise. He's going to get there by bus by bus thanks okay now let's remember that here in the question how you are going to investigate about the manner so if you say get to guatemala is the manner how you go to a place in this case the context is referring to the transportation what transportation you are going to use to go to guatemala and this is a contraction contraction of how is he, right? Same here. Who is? This referring to a contraction with that, with the verb to be that is necessary to include with this. Now let's ask some other questions. Let's see, Oswaldo, what are you going to do this Saturday? I am going to the beach. Hey, okay, that's very good. You're going to go to the beach. Yes. That's all right. Which beach are you going to go? A specific? What is the name of the beach that you're going to visit? El Sonte. El Sonte. Hey, that's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice. Now, let's see. Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan Adonai. Yes, teacher. Okay. Tell me, where are your siblings going to eat lunch tomorrow? Um, They're going to eat Lunch at Los Tres Cerditos. Los Tres Cerditos. All right. Thank you. That's good. Kathy? Kathy Esther? 
Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. The next question. Who's going to celebrate? Um, let me see. Halloween. Who's going to celebrate Halloween? Mention the person. Who? Maybe um, if you say, I am going to celebrate Halloween. My family is. My friend is. Uh, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. not celebrating the, the Halloween. Okay, that's good. I'm not going to celebrate. I'm not going to celebrate Halloween. Halloween, that's correct. Thank you. That's nice. Okay, let's continue then with Karen. Karen Xiomara. Karen Xiomara. Hello. Okay, the last question we have. How's your friend going to get to Panama? How's your friend going to get to Panama? Transportation. Mm, we. Your friend. Going to. Your friend. Not you. Your friend. You. Uh -huh, your friend. My friend. Ah, that's nice. My friend going to get. Is going. My friend is going. Going to get their uh -huh. by taxi. By taxi. Okay, yeah. you can use taxi. It's a lot of money, but <laughs> <laughs> by taxi. Oh, that's a lot. By Uber. <laughs> that's all right. Good one. Okay. Now we have WH questions here. Now tell me, do you have any question, a doubt, any comments about this? No, I get it. You got it? Yes. Yeah. All right. Tomorrow we're going to continue with more practice, guys. Thank okay. you so much. Good night, teacher. Have a beautiful okay. night. Sweet night. dreams. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. 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 Thank you guys, sweet dreams.